welcome back. This is video number two in the Managing Expectations series. So in the first video, we talked about managing expectations and where they come from. And we've established that they come from within and they come from your values. Now, I hope you've done your homework and you've got your deal breakers written down because they're going to help you as well to understand the thinking styles that I'm going to talk about today. Now, as I mentioned in the video number one, when we do communicate, we deep dive into your psyche. We really get into understanding who you are and who other people are and how they work together. So one of the things that you get when you join up to the Kick-Ass Performance Workshops is a whole brain or HBDI profiling tool. So I'll just show you the little pack here. This is the pack that you get and it gives you a profile into your thinking styles. Now, this is really important. This is not a behavior, sorry, this is not a um, personality-based profile. This is a thinking profile. And thinking is what drives everything. We know our brain is really important. That's where everything comes from. Our values, thinking, behavior. Behavior is the output and we explore behavior throughout the program and its impact on others. But what we do is first off, we find out where that behavior actually comes from. So normally I take at least two days to describe this tool and how your thinking styles translates into behavior and how it impacts on other people. So today I'm just going to give you a really broad overview of what that is so that I'm hoping that it starts you on that journey to discover yourself and the impact that you have on other people. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about thinking styles today. So here we go. There are four key thinking styles. Now, every single person is a makeup of all four of these thinking styles. So don't think that you're only one, you're a makeup of all of them. But what I'm going to do today is talk in extremes, purely for learning's sake. So the first one I'm going to talk about is an analytical style. Okay, so an analytical style, if we think about these as people, sometimes it's easier to understand and learn so if we think about this one as a person with an analytical style brain, the things that you'll see from them and you is a real um, reliance on things like logic, like analysis. So they really deep dive into things. They ask a lot of why questions. They need to understand what's going on before delivering something. They rely a lot on statistics. They expect research to be done in everything. So if they're going to go buy a car, they will research it and find out everything there is to know about that car. So expectations of these people is that they put on, say, others and they put on themselves, is that they won't just do stuff. They will have an expectation that information is presented to them so they can make a great decision on that. The second one I'm going to talk to you about today is what we call a process-based thinker. Process. So these people are ones that really are great with a step-by-step -step process. They like to know how to do stuff exactly. So they're gonna love these videos because I'm telling you exactly how to manage expectations. All right, so they will have an expectation that you will be reliable, you will turn up on time. And if you promise to get, if you promise to meet a deadline, that you'll actually meet that deadline and the job will get done. So that's the kind of expectations they have. They love a checklist, they love to tick off and get achievements. 
These are the people you want on your project team because you know that they will deliver and they will deliver on time. The third one I'm going to talk to you today is what I loosely call the people thinkers. Now, it's not to say the other styles don't think about people. They absolutely do, and they can be loving and caring and all of those things. But this, people with this primary style are the ones that will bring you together in a group. They're the ones that always look for a collaborative approach. They're the ones where communication is so important. They're the ones that will notice if you're having a bad day. And they're the ones where their decisions will be driven by emotion. So the expectations that these people put on themselves and they put on other people is a real expectation that you will be thinking about the people impact in everything that you do. So for example, if they were going to buy a car, they wouldn't just do research and look into it and what it was doing as far as um, mileage and uh, you know, petrol usage, all of those sort of things and cost, they will be looking at how is this going to work within my life that's going to impact my family. So these are the really important things. So when you're approaching these people, if they have an expectation, it's that you will think about them, yourself and the people around you. This is really important for them. Okay, so the fourth style is what I like to call the big thinkers. Now these people are the ones that love imagination. They're very visionary. They're thinking big all the time and they're looking holistically at a problem. So the expectations that they'll have on themselves and they have on others is that you won't just come to them with the nitty gritties of a problem. What you will do is you will look at the problem holistically. You will see the beginning, you will see the middle and you will see the end and you will see the impact of that. These are the ones that are looking forward into the future and they'll provide you with the vision, they provide you with the direction. They might not provide you with the details, but they have no expectation that they will be the details person. All four thinking styles make great leaders. There's not one that's better than the other because they're thinking styles and we are a product of all four of those thinking styles. So that's the difference between the personality stuff and thinking styles. We're a makeup of all four of them. So thanks for joining me and learning a little bit more about thinking styles. In video number three, we're going to learn about what I like to call the dirty words. And these are the things that we place on ourselves. And as far as expectations are concerned, they will drive your expectations into the ditch. So you need to know about these dirty words. They, you have to eradicate them from your vocabulary. So we'll talk about that next time. That's video number three coming up soon. And until then, be inspiring.